Hi everyone, my name is Megan and today we're going to be talking about some of my favorite romantic couples from books. As I've talked about in some of my other videos, I don't usually gravitate toward romance as a genre in general, but I definitely do appreciate a good romantic plotline in a story and there are plenty of fictional couples that I just adore. So in the spirit of Valentine's Day, I decided I would talk about five of my very favorite romances from books that I've read. The first one that I want to talk about is from a book that I feel like I bring up in every single one of my videos and I just don't see it stopping anytime soon and I'm sorry, but that is Evelyn Hugo and Celia St. James from The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I can't have a book about romances without having Taylor Jenkins Reid mentioned at least once. Actually, I had to hold back and refrain because a lot of my favorite romances that I've read recently have been from Taylor Jenkins Reid, and I didn't really want to feature her more than once on the list because that's not fair. So I picked my very favorite, and that was definitely Evelyn and Celia from The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. The story of their relationship starts in the 1950s, so obviously a lesbian relationship is really taboo and it had to be kept under wraps. The forbidden aspect of their romance certainly added to the intrigue of it. That's not why I picked them as one of my favorite couples. When Evelyn tells her story and talks about Celia, it is just so apparent the love that she has for her, and Evelyn and Celia's story is just so incredibly heartbreaking. So while this is definitely one of my favorite romantic couples, it's a hard one to swallow at the same time. It's it's a very bittersweet romance for sure. I think that that's what makes this romance so powerful. Not to mention, I just feel like Taylor Jenkins Reid could literally write any two characters and I would I would ship it instantly. Is ship a thing anymore? I don't think it is. I'm old now, so I'm not sure. I won't go on and on about them for too long because I feel like most people who are interested in this book have read it already. So I probably don't need to hype this book up anymore, but the romance in this is just so beautiful and so pure and I loved it so much. My next couple is also from a very popular book out in the world and on booktube right now, so I'll try not to go on too much about them. But honestly, how can I make a video about my favorite romantic couples without talking about Alex Claremont Diaz and Prince Henry from Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. All you really need to know about this book is that Alex is the first son of the first female president of the United States and Prince Henry is Prince Henry and they fall in love. My very favorite thing about Alex and Henry's relationship is just the banter. They are both so funny, so witty, so smart. They both have a really sarcastic sense of humor too which I really love in characters and it is just the cutest romance ever. This one is taboo too, not as much for the two guys thing as it is for, you know, it's the, it's the prince and the first son. So like, it's a little, it's a little, it's a lot. There are a lot of layers to this relationship, but it's just watching it develop was such a delight. And I really love how this book discussed sexuality as well within the romance and Alex kind of exploring his bisexuality was really wonderful. But mostly just the way that they interact with each other is the cutest thing I've ever read. And if you need a cute romance and you haven't read this one yet, like I literally don't know how many more times I can recommend this book to anybody in my entire life. I feel like all I've done the past year is hype up Taylor Jenkins Reid and Red, White, and Royal Blue, and I'm not ashamed. I am not ashamed at all. Shireen. Oh, fuck. Shireen. I forgot how to say it. Let me see if I can find a video of Tahara saying Shireen, because I want to make sure I pronounce it right. Um... Tahara Macy. Not what I meant. Video will play after ad. Reactions just made me realize we still have a lot of work to do. But ultimately, this 
book at its core is deeply inspired by my own personal experiences growing up as a Muslim teenager in a post-9-11 world. I always knew I needed to write this book. I just didn't know when or whether it would ever find an audience. And I just feel like now is the time. Okay, I don't care. I just want to know how to pronounce this character's name. Shireen? Shireen? I'm just gonna say Shireen. I think that's right. Shireen. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, let's move on to some books that I don't talk about every single video. The next couple that I want to talk about is Ocean and Shireen from A Very Large Expanse of Sea by Tahar Mafi. This book is set a year after 9-11 and it follows a Muslim American teen named Shireen as she tries to navigate high school not only as a teenage girl but as a Muslim American in a post 9-11 world. Shireen's high school experience is a pretty lonely one as she doesn't have a ton of friends and not a lot of people seem to want to really get to know her. But then of course she meets Ocean James who is a basketball star but is also the first person that really seems to get her and want to know her. I love the romance between Ocean and Shireen so much. Obviously this book is incredibly powerful and deals with a lot of really heavy subjects. I felt that Shireen and Ocean really loved each other. I loved how determined Ocean was to make things work with Shireen even if they were a little harder just based on how people would react to them as a couple. Honestly, even if I read a book with a romance plotline, it is pretty rare that I finish it and just am thinking about these characters and how perfect and cute they are. But that was how I felt when I finished this one. I just think Ocean and Shireen were a really unique but beautiful couple and I'm so glad that they exist. I feel like this book is really underrated and I highly recommend it if you haven't picked it up yet. The next couple that I'm gonna talk about is actually my only couple from a series, which is kind of interesting. That couple is Blue and Gansey from The Raven Cycle. The Raven Cycle is one of my favorite book series of all time. It is so beautiful and the characters are so rich and developed. Honestly, I'm not even gonna mess with trying to explain the plot too much of this one. One, because I think most people know about it. Two, because it's so complicated. And three, because I really only wanna talk about Blue and Gansey. I love Blue and Gansey. I love them individually. I love them together. I just love Blue and Gansey. Blue and Gansey as individuals are both so intelligent and funny and passionate but in different ways. One of my favorite things about this romance is that there is so much going on in this series. We only get like little tidbits every now and then, and it just makes you look forward to the next romantic interaction. I think that the fact that it wasn't a super heavy handed, hit you over the head with it early on romance made me love it so much. But ultimately it's Blue and Gansey as characters who I think are just so incredibly well developed and intelligent and I love them so much. The last couple that I want to talk about goes back to one of my older favorite books and that is Levi and Kath from Fangirl. Fangirl is a book about a really introverted girl named Kath who is just getting started out at college. She's kind of having a hard time fitting in and figuring out what she wants to do. She definitely kind of has a rough start to college but then she meets Levi and Oh, I love Levi so much. I think Levi is one of my favorite male romantic interests that I've read. I'm not sure what it is about him. He's just so sweet and thoughtful and kind and funny. And I loved watching his relationship with Kath develop. I really liked watching Kath deal with her social anxiety and her worries about being in her first relationship. Again, the banter between them is just so cute and that's the word I would use to describe this book and Levi and Kath in general. 
they're just so cute and I had the warmest feeling after finishing this book. I remember finishing this book and just thinking, wow, that's why I love to read so much. So if you're looking for a really, really cute romance set at a college campus and you haven't picked up Fangirl, I definitely recommend that you do. All right, everyone, those are some of my very favorite romantic couples from books. In the comments below, let me know some of your favorite romantic couples from books or movies, TV shows, whatever you want to do. Just let me know some of your favorite fictional romantic couples. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. As always, in the description below, I have links to all the books I talked about today, as well as a link to my Goodreads page that you can follow. You can also follow my bookstagram, which is at Megan Likes Books, and you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Meg Likes Books. I will see you guys very soon for my next video. Bye-bye.